Hello, and welcome back to another episode of my Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar playthrough. As you can see, we are right where we left off. We are going to finish up getting um, our, hopefully, elevated elevation in humility. We've done one and two as far as cycles. So what's left is three. And I'm just going to just meander a little bit. Just meander, meander, meander. Don't mind me. Okay. Hopefully that's enough time. Eerie horn sound. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. I'm gonna use the horn again. I think we'd probably be fine, but you know, better safe than sorry. H-U-M-I-L-I-T-Y, humility. I don't wanna screw this up. Three cycles. Begin meditation. Alrighty then. Get this, and then we got to go back and get spirituality again, which is, which is sad, but you know it is what it is. So L U M. I I think I think one of my commenters mentioned that they did that and they lost an eighth. I mean that seems kind of that seems kind of mean, you know. Maybe drop back humility you know, back to a four or something, you know, because I tried and failed. But it, it seems excessively cruel to me, Origin Systems, to uh, take away something that I've already achieved. I mean, how did I not show sacrifice by using the wrong mantra? I think that's BS. All right, lum, lum, lum. Partial avatarhood and the virtue of humility. We are granted a vision. That is a new vision. Okay, so we have a vision. Don't know what that means. All right, use horn. Sounds an eerie tone. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and we're out. I am very happy that we managed to do that whole thing and we did not um, have to fight one demon. Now, I was thinking I wanted to move one of these ships like over out of the way, but I can't. I literally cannot. So that ship's just going to kind of be a, a sitting dock there. Dock. A duck, doc. All right, and let's, let me make sure I got this right. M and O and O and H. Is that what I had? Is that what I had? It's right. M and O. I had M and P. Close enough. I don't know. I'm, I, I just must have stupid brain today. I don't know why that was such a problem on the last episode, but whatever. Okay, let's board our ship. So where I think we're going to go is we were told the bell of courage is at n and l let's bring up let's bring up the map real quick so m and l so m is like on the where the shrine of honor is as far as that latitude and longitude is like magentia so it's just going to be like south southwest of magentia so let's go see if we can find that that would be interesting. It would be nice to, to, to have that. We still need to find... We have the book, I believe. We haven't found the bell yet. All right, so we need to go to, as I said, and then totally forgot about it, N and L. That's L and N. That's backwards. Latitudes north and south. So that's L. I actually need to come back further south. Interesting. All right. M and N. I'm getting a little concerned that I'm close to Pirate's Cove. Pirate's Cove is O and N. And we need to go to L and N. Or N and L. Never mind. All right. So latitude should be N. So that's a little bit further south. A little bit further south. You're killing me. All right, so we are at N, and now we need to go to L. So that is going to be due west. 
All right, we're at M, so we're not too far. So we are at N and L. So NA and LA. So we are at L, obviously NC and LP. So let's keep going a little bit. LJ. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Um, are we just supposed to sail our ship in there? I don't usually do this mid episode, but I realized I didn't do it after the last episode. So I'm going to save just in case. Uh, Squiddy, go away. Uh, uh, I got to take this guy out. All right. Actually, there's not much sense necessarily getting all these people in position. I guess Dupree can. But like you, don't really need to. I guess maybe I'll do that just to kind of get them out of the way. All right, I'll go down and help with the sea serpent. You can get out of the way. Okay, one sea serpent, D-E-D, -E -D, dead. I think that, that guy is fleeing. Stupid squid. All right, Iolo, let's... Okay. So, I'm confused. So, I am at N-A-L-A. -A. This is the spot. Okay, I can't get off of my ship. So do I have more notes on that? Bottom of a deep well at sea. Descend what? Well, the well. <laughs> I, I, once again, I've got no clue what to do. We found it. I'm not quite certain how a well gets differentiated between, I mean, you got shoals all around it on three sides, but okay. I don't know. All right. So we found it. We know where it's at. What we do when we get there is a whole nother matter. All right, so let's go, let's go north. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back to, after I, oh, we got a pirate ship too, dang it. I think we're gonna head back to Lord British's castle. Um, and uh, we might get some supplies. Oh, you guys with your little diagonal, aren't you cute with your little diagonal attacks? You know, real fighters, you know, just do it in the cardinal directions, like that, see? If you guys weren't the orcs of the sea, you would know that, but you don't. I don't think well, I could have gone over there and helped him. That, uh, whoever that was, Shamino, Joffrey. Joffrey, you can't really do anything. He wasn't in front of you. All right, now I can get over and help this. Why are you over here, Iolo? I don't understand why you're here. Why aren't you over helping Shamino? That guy's fleeing. Get over there. That guy's fleeing. Dead. All right. I don't think I'm going to be able to get anywhere before these guys are going to flee off the field of battle. 
I'm not even sure ILO is going to get a chance. All right, good job, Katrina. Yeah, that guy's just going to go bloop away here in a second. All right. All right, we got one broadside. Not that it seemed to do a whole lot. All right. Part of the reason I want to go to Lord Bristol's castle is just because I keep looking at our at our food, and um, it makes me nervous. <laughs> I'm like, food is getting low. It's like every time I look up, the food amount goes down. Like we well, yeah, just one. Ah, oh, Lord, just one. But it's enough that I I notice it, and it it freaks me out. It freaks me out. So. I don't want us starving again. So I think we'll go to Lord British's castle. We can visit Hawkwind. Maybe see how badly we're screwed on on um, uh, uh, is it spirituality we lost, I think. And uh, we can see how we're doing on everything else as well and uh, go from there. That actually might be the episode. Depending on how long I got it takes to fight these guys. I just hope they don't take a lot of our gold. We might have to have to moon gate um, and get some cheaper food. Because I'm thinking it was like, I have to look at my list, but I'm thinking it was like Scarabray that had the cheapest food. I could be wrong. But I am thinking there was somebody that was... I know Lord British's... Or British. The town of British. Or Britain? Britain. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Um, it's not the cheapest. I mean, it's not super duper expensive. But it's... You know. I want to pay McDonald's prices. Um, not Applebee, not Applebee prices. And, and, you know. It's definitely more Applebee's prices there at... at British, you know, being the seat of government and all that. All right, I have a ship in the middle of the sea. Woo! <laughs> well, it's just going to stay there. Oh, God, Nixie's go away. He's not going to go away. There's only two of them. All right, maybe I maybe I did some good there with my, my quick firing of my cannon. Maybe I killed a bunch off. I'm going to believe that lie. <laughs> All right. All right, that's one down. Looks like it's going to pretty much be all me. Iolo might be able to come over and help. Except when I don't move him. Are you dead yet? There we go. All right, where are we? We are at L and J. So L, we are still way south. J, we still are way, well not way, but we're further east than we want to be. So let's go north a bit. So now we are at JJ. All right, a little bit more north. Locate. We are at IJ. You know what? That's probably pretty good. Let's head. Let's head west, as much as. Okay, good. Thank you, wind. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, seahorse, I care not for thee. Let's just go up here. I might have to fight the seahorse. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I ain't afraid of no seahorse. All right, there we go. Actually, I don't really want to get behind the shoals. I suppose I could. It'd be like a bay. All right. Let us exit our boat. And let's... Let's go see Hawkwind. Yeah, see, I'm down to 215 gold already. So... And where is the cheapest gold? So the cheap, where is the cheapest gold? Um, cheapest food is in Scarbray. And to get there, 
I'd have to go to Minoc, and then I'd have to go to Trinsic. We might buy a little bit here. I mean, we don't have a you know, crap ton of gold. I might go ahead and buy some here. And, um, and then maybe what we'll do is um, we'll go get, well, let's, let's see what our good friend Hawkwind has got to say for ourselves. All right, okay, I'm awake now. All right, Hawkwind. So, okay, honesty. For what honesty? Thou dost seem to be an honest soul. Continue. That's where I was. So, no change there. Compassion. I think I still have compassion. Yes. All right, valor. Thou art showing valor in the face of danger, strive yet. So that's where I was, no change. All right. All right, justice. Oh, we are ready for elevation in justice. Beautiful. All right, honor. Thou hast become a part of... Okay, so I'm still a partial avatar in that. So it must have been spirituality that I lost. Oh, okay. So it was spirituality that I lost, but I didn't lose much. I just lost my elevation. So that's good news. Okay, so here's where we are. So honesty, we are at a four. Valor, we are at a four. Justice, we are at a f we are at a five and are ready to elevate. Sacrifice, we are at a five and ready to elevate. Honor, we are elevated and humility uh, and spirituality, we're ready for elevation and humility, we are elevated. So, if we can get justice, sacrifice, and humility, get those elevations done, we have two more to go. Valor and honesty. All right. That's cool news. We're really coming along in that. Um, we're really coming along in that pretty, pretty well, I think. I'm pretty happy with that. All right. So we found the well. We didn't know how to get in the well. I mean, how hard is it to get into a well? But we couldn't figure out, by we, I mean me, couldn't figure out how to get into the well. So, and we are ready for elevation. Um, let's bring up the map a little bit and just remind ourselves where all of these shrines are at. So justice is over there, not too far from you in kind of the upside down boot at uh, B, F, thereabouts. Um, sacrifice is way over there by Vesper. That's going to be the time. Well, we'll take our ship around for that. Absolutely. Um, spirituality is over there by Minoc at the Minoc Moon Gate. So that'll be easy enough to do, to get to and then get. And then spirituality, that was spirituality. So it's just those three. So, yeah, maybe next time we'll try to knock those out a little bit, um, or at least two of them. I think it'd be really easy to do uh, the one at Minoc and maybe the one, uh, the one by you and get those two done. And then um, we'll see about the time after that. Um, and I got to figure out how the heck do we get into that pool. But uh, thank you for watching me on this playthrough. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I do hope you come back for the next one. And until then, be seeing you.